Hey guys, welcome to the channel. We're going to talk about Grim Dawn's devotion uh, kind of system. Um, it's a very vast system which offers you a lot of different play style and mechanics that you can add levels to your character. Just a quick overview for you as you can see each thing has a different type of style for devotion and as you put in points on your skill tree you're going to be able to unlock the deeper pieces of your builds. Um, a lot of these come with skills that will then have an impact on a skill that you actively use and as you are defeating enemies with those skills you'll be able to level up the added skill on there and be able to get higher quality like uh, bonuses from it as you can see I'm level 9 with, with one of these skills um, and it works on savagery which is my basic attack so every time I kill something it gives it experience but this skill tree was a little intimidating at first because it is a huge huge skill tree and you do want to pay attention to what points you're putting in because at the end of the game you're going to have a certain build that you're shooting for and you can see some of these outliers are going to have some really high requirements based on the the different affinities that you have so every time you complete one of the constellations on the devotion skill tree it's going to give you x amount of affinities for unlocking the next stage or next level as you can see i haven't put any in on on some of these so i can't actually access these until i've put enough points in the affinities to be able to unlock that particular constellation for the skill that it gives now this is a very in-depth thing and i highly recommend you taking a bit of time to look through all of these and kind of get a gauge or an idea of exactly how you would like to build your character some of them are going to come with bonuses that may not directly impact your character so much however some of these are really going to have things that are going to go directly into what you want to do whether it's a pet build a melee build a lifesteal build um, what type of damage you want to be resistant against or what type of damage you want to be able to deal such as chaos or poison uh, even electrocution or fire damage is, is a part of this tree so take your time on this part dig into it because it, it has a lot of flexibility a lot of capability um, there are things that give you percent bonuses such as uh, defense rating or attack rating um, like you know your physique bonuses some things will even decrease the overall amount of requirements of certain weapons so say if your physique's at 100 and you've got a weapon that has a required 110 percent physique you can actually go through one of these skill trees that reduce that by 10 percent meaning you can use things that are actually outside of the amount that you're supposed to be able to use based on the constellations in the devotion skill tree so these align very well with a lot of your character skills in general as well uh, so you can really dial in on some things and get your build going the way you want piddle around with this nothing is set in stone in this game you can definitely go over to the character that allows you to reset and you can remove points from this skill tree as well being able to do that is extremely valuable as it allows you to test different builds different effects and different ways to play your character in the most effective way so for me i would spent points on things that i don't actually care about don't actually fit into my build and aren't the goal for what i'm shooting for i was easily able to go pay some iron bits to refund some of these points so that i could better allocate them to fit my character's play style a little bit more um, so it's just great that you're able to refund these at any time and then spend them again at any time to flesh out a build that's going to be exactly what you want it to be. Grim Dawn has quite a few awesome little aspects in it as far as just weapons with bonuses, skills with bonuses, and then diving into this devotion and affinity skill tree in order to give you the maximum capability of your character. Like I said, this was just a quick review. I wanted to show you guys some of this information, give you a little insight into it. I hope this was helpful. If it was, make sure you please like, subscribe, follow the channel, whatever you got to do. Uh, but thank you guys. And we'll talk to you next time with some more Grim Dawn information.